On May 15th, Russian President Vladimir Putin's appointee in Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov, dismissed the American Abrams tank, which the U.S. has pledged to supply to Ukraine, as a children's pedal car. An upgraded Russian T-72 tank, Kadyrov claimed, surpasses foreign equipment and combat power, control, protection, and ease of operation. On such a tank, we will enter Kiev and carry out denazification, simultaneously splitting the Abrams like nuts. Wait. Kadyrov's claims about the Abrams versus the T-72 are false. Abrams tanks have advanced armor that provides superior protection against anti-tank munitions. The T-72 has weaker armor and fewer options for armor upgrades. The Abrams cannon provides greater accuracy and armor penetration than the T-72s. The Abrams also has superior optics, night vision, communications and networking systems, and better acceleration and maneuverability. Looking at the weight, speed, armored protection, sighting technology, and accuracy, to name just a few, the M1 Abrams outclasses the T-72 variants, Michael Clark, a professor in the War Studies Department of King's College London, told Newsweek. As the U.S. military stars and stripes newspaper noted, in a tank battle during the 1991 Gulf War, U.S. forces and Abrams tanks needed a mere 40 minutes to pulverize an armored Iraqi Republican Guard brigade fielding Soviet-made T-72s.